Hello everybody and welcome back to Event Tech Live 2020. Now, for those of you who are tuning in yesterday afternoon, you may have seen our co-founder Adam Parry on here uh, towards the end of day one, just talking about some of our experiences and uh, something that we realized is that, you know, stuff happens in a virtual event exactly the same as it does in a live event. Stuff goes wrong, you get the same level of excitement. There are all sorts of different emotions that we went through uh, as we were prepared to go live with our first virtual event. And um, what we thought would be great to do during this little break in the live sessions is to take a look at exactly what is going on behind the scenes. I've mentioned some of the sponsors and some of the uh, organizations that have been uh, assisting us in putting this whole program together. And one of the guys and one of the teams working really, really hard behind the scenes is First Sight Media. Rich Belcher is uh, their head honcho over there, and he should be joining me live from operations in Oxfordshire. Hello there, Rich. Good afternoon, James. How are you? Fantastic. Great to see you. What we thought would be great to do for the people tuning into Event Tech Live is to give them a little behind the scenes look at how it's all happening, because most of them are sat there at a nice comfy desk with a nice warm cup of coffee, tuned into their nice laptop, relaxing and enjoying all of this content that we're putting out there. And it's just happening, isn't it, Rich? It's just happening. With, I am so, with no effort so at all. envious of those people, James. So envious of them and their coffee and their relaxingness. But uh, yes, we'll get into that in a second. So you're in the, 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 the base of operations at First Sight Media HQ uh, in Oxfordshire. Um, all of the content, all of the, the streams, all of the people that are dialing in and presenting sessions exactly as I am now, that, that feed is being sent down to you guys there. What's happening from there, Rich? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much quite a lot, James. So, so um, in addition to pre-recording everything uh, on the other stage from here, um, we're actually producing all the live stuff from, from here as well. We've actually got another show going on in our other studio across the way. So we're in our two smaller studios today. Um, so maybe I can show you. Why, why don't we try that? Please. So, yeah, um, that'd be great. I'm, yeah. not sure, I'm not sure how easy this is going to be. And um, we haven't done camera work for quite some time. But this is the main stage where you can see me and everything. And this is Matt, who's um, running the main stage so all the content that you see that goes on the main stage is essentially produced from um, Studio 4 here um, then we've got um, a bit close sorry about that everyone um, <laughs> and then we've got um, uh, this is Studio 5 this is Anthony working away prepping for the next session um, hey Anthony. Well, Anthony. So Anthony's been yeah quite well uh, James says well done um, uh, so um, they've been so every live stage, every live speaker on the live stage has been dialed in here. They've all been greeted and welcomed by either myself or Anthony or or Phil or one of the team here. And then we've got um, kind of phase two of the live stage. Um, just is a bit more of an ad hoc stage uh, studio here um, that we're set up ready for um, for everyone to go in. So essentially, we can have somebody in in session and then somebody being welcomed and uh, making sure that their slides are right and all that sort of stuff. Um, in advance of their session. So yeah, it's, it's quite a big operation going on here, James. Um, thank Absolutely, you and, and, as, and as you point out, Rich, quite rightly, it's not just what's happening live right now and, 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 and the live sessions that we're talking about. Um, you guys have been working on this for weeks in advance, and particularly the last two weeks have been hectic, haven't they? Last week, we again mentioned this very, very briefly yesterday. Last week was rehearsals, so everybody that's delivering a live stream session has conducted a rehearsal, so they've dialed in exactly as they have done for their live session. They've done a rehearsal to test lighting, sound, audio, make sure their video and camera positions in the right place, make sure that their PowerPoint presentations are working. So that was all done last week, wasn't it? Yep, so most, most, most of that was done. So I think it's been the last three weeks that we've really dialed up um, the level of production here. So we spent two weeks doing pre-records um, and uh, people were encouraged to um, uh, put their own slot in for the pre-recording. So as you can imagine, the second half of the two weeks was much fuller than the first half as people were uh, obviously doing their slides last minute, last minute homework, et cetera, et cetera. So Friday, Thursday, Wednesday were really full and the first week wasn't so bad. Um, but we, so we edited all those and had those all ready. Um, so they were all ready um, before the weekend, I'm pleased to report, and they all went up. And then the live sessions um, we rehearsed with, um, I think it was about 80, 80 live speakers that we've, we'll be dialing in over the course of the week for the live stuff. And um, they've been, uh, yeah, they've all been, they've all rehearsed. They've all been into our production, uh, well, into our studio and spoken with either Anthony or Matt or one of the team and made sure that they're happy, that they can share their camera, that they know how to use the, um, 
remote clicker that we use to uh, control their slides and all that sort of stuff. So everyone's well briefed. They then dial in. Uh, I'm not sure if I should give away all the secrets, James, but I'll tell you a few. No, no, no um, absolutely. So they You've dial in. <laughs> keep the secret sauce and the special spices. But uh, so they dial in about 15 minutes before because they've all rehearsed, they're all comfortable and they know what to expect when they dial in. They dial in about 15 minutes before their session's due to start. We do some final checks and then we try and give them a few minutes to go off and get a cup of coffee or a glass of something, depending on their mood on the day, of course. And then, uh, and then, yeah, we, we, we push it live. And, um, uh, and the team over in Retford, which is you, James and Paul, um, you guys make sure it's all live through through Grip and the platform uh, on the website. And then, uh, as if by magic, it just uh, appears in front of the people that are sat there with their coffee. Lucky Absolutely, them. yeah. And, and, and again, to give people a, a bit of insight, as you alluded to there, Rich, it's, it's not just sort of just being spat out straight into where people are watching it. It's going through, you know, four or five different platforms and elements so that everything can work, so that the, the Glissa uh, Q&A can work, so that we've got, you know, the video being, being put into the virtual events platform. You know, it's also going to other places so that we can get it out onto live streams, onto the social media feed. And as you said as well, it's not just the f sophisticated first site media base of operations that we've got controlling all of this we've we've worked with you guys to put our own makeshift studio together as well in Retford which is where I'm broadcasting from so I've got the backdrop behind me which is nicely in frame and keeps hidden all of the other cables and camera setup and the lighting that, that we've got here and um, this is probably you know very very similar to what a lot, of, a lot of other event organizers have had to go through in the last few months we've had to adapt quickly we've had to work with with what we've got and what we've got available to us um, you know I'm no I'm no cameraman or, or technical expert when it comes to putting video together so we've taken your lead and your guidance on that but we've done it we've set up this studio here we've yeah, got think... Paul who's two offices down sort of looking at about 10 different monitors and pushing about 50 buttons <laughs> at the same time yeah, I think it goes it goes back to what Katie in the um, the previous session were just talking about, um, and how um, you know we're all virtual event producers now. Um, <laughs> even the even even the likes of yourself, James. Um, uh, I don't know the audio sounds beautiful, which is what we'd expect from you. But um, you know, being able to put it on, you know, whether it's a makeshift little pop up stand um, like you guys have got in Redford there, um, as long as you as long as you light it well and make it look good, like you guys have with uh, you know with our um, assistance. I'm I'm glad you uh, note that. Thank you. Um, and uh, you know, we made it we've made it look nice. And I think it, it kind of goes to show that everybody can. But um, I think what's key is. Um, having the tech, as you'd expect from Event uh, Tech Live Virtual, um, having the tech in the background that's supporting you. And, uh, you know, someone like uh, someone like First Sight Media, for example, um, in your <laughs> corner to uh, do all the complicated stuff that you're not perhaps uh, as au fait with. Yeah, and what, I think what we'll do is as well, we'll, we'll take some photos of, of the setup here. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get them on social media. Um, take some photos at your end as well, Rich. Get them through to us. And we'll, we'll put a little, you know, a, a selection of photos out showing everybody exactly what's going on behind the scenes. Because I think the other thing that a lot of events people have realized in, in the last few months is that um, it doesn't all have to be pristine and polished and immaculate. You know, behind the scenes, you know, it often is a bit chaotic and that's very similar to what happens at a live event for everything that looks polished and that the audience sees behind that stage is a load of cabling a load of people frantically trying to make stuff happen and that's been no different the last two weeks nope lots of people frantically trying to make stuff happen um uh, you know day one of any show is always uh, the most fun and uh, we certainly experienced that yesterday um but um you know we got we got everything out and everything was pushed and everything was uh, live when it should be or more or less so um mm -hmm. yeah there is there is a lot going on in the background but i mean you mentioned about um taking photos and on social media i think it would be um, horrendous of me not to plug um our live session with uh, um none other than uh, mr adam parry who is uh, will be doing i believe his first event tech live um presentation that we managed to rope him into actually, that um, actually, actually he, i think he admitted it to it on live, the fly yeah yeah it's actually, be, actually, about actually about event tech live yeah so yeah, so I believe it's um, off the top of my head, and um, um, Ash, our marketing manager, who is over uh, over in the corner, will confirm. Um, I think it's 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 certainly Thursday afternoon. I believe it's four forty-five. It's Thursday, and we'll talk Thursday more about four forty-five. You're exactly correct on the money. Excellent. Yeah, four forty-five, and uh, we'll be talking about how we made it work, um, and it'll be it'll be an interesting discussion between how 
Adam and Paul as the organisers of the event into, integrated with us as, as one of the technical teams in the background. Obviously, there's then Glisser and Grip and all these other platforms, as you'd expect from Event Tech Live Virtual, uh, bringing it all together. But um, um, yeah, 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 I'm looking forward to that. So make sure you tune into that um, if, you, if you have your cup of coffee ready. Very quickly, Richard, before we before we um, before we get back to our, our, our well deserved sort of break in proceedings and a quick bite, let's have a little look at Matt because Matt is is the is the person who's been sitting at the other end of my earpiece Hold for on. the last day and a half, and will continue to do so, I've no doubt, for the rest of the week, helping keep me on track and let me know what's happening. Matt, give us a wave again. Uh, here's Matt. Here he is. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see the bank of screens that he's got in front of him. If uh, Phil and the cameraman just steps this forward it, without tripping over the cable, fantastic. And you can see, yeah, the bank of screens that's in front of him. So we've got, uh, thanks for that lovely demonstration, Matt, appreciate that. Um, we've got um, a lot of the pre-recorded content loaded on the right-hand side. And then um, this is where I'm coming in and James is coming in all on the left. And, and Matt's just, um, uh, you, you know, frantically clicking through um, uh, to try and keep up with the schedule as best he can bless him fan, fan, fantastic hey, we should we're, let, let, let's let's drop in uh, further on in, in, into the week rich um, i think i think it's really important that we show people how this is all happening and what's going on as, as things progress you know it's great to keep pushing out that lovely polished content that we've got but let's uh, dive in behind the scenes a couple more times this week and uh, say hello to you guys if that's all right awesome yep sounds good and um, i will inevitably speak to you on comms in the next few minutes Absolutely. Yeah, Rich Rich will be back in my earpiece very, very soon. Our thanks to all the team at First Sight Media uh, and our thanks uh, to all of the, 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 the organisations and the companies who have helped put together um, Event Tech Live Virtual so far.